Hi, this is Carolyn Thompson from Thompson Law here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Today, I want to talk about the new South Dakota Special Spousal Trust. In July of 2016, our legislature adopted a new statute that enables couples, married couples, to elect into a new type of trust, and it's called the Special Spousal Trust. What it does is it enables married couples to elect into community property status. Now you may think, what is community property status? Well, let me give you an example. Right now in South Dakota, we have common law, which means that when one person passes away, their assets get a step up in basis. And what that means is if they had paid $500 for an acre of land, and when they die, it's worth 4,000, their basis in that asset steps up to $4,000. So that way, the beneficiaries, if they wanted to sell, could sell at no capital gains tax. So the idea of step up in basis is very important because you could have things like machinery or rental property that you've depreciated, and now when you pass away, it gets a step up in basis. Very helpful to the heirs. Well, community property is quite different in that when you elect into community property, husband and wife are agreeing that this is community property. We both own it, it's both ours. Under the federal IRS code, if it's community property, you get a step up in basis in all assets that are community property, not just the half of the one who died first. So if you had a couple who had elected into special spousal trust, and let's just say that they had machinery that was worth $500,000 that they had fully depreciated, at the death of the first, there is a step up in basis on all of that machinery and they get to redepreciate that again. Just like the land, if they agreed that the land was community property, then all of the land got a step up in basis. And for some families, that is going to make a huge difference in some of the advanced planning strategies we can use. Now, some of the downsides. If it is community property and there is a divorce, it is 50-50. There is no discussion. And again, most of our couples, divorce is not the concern. The other issue is that if it's community property and one person is sued, all of the assets are at risk. Lastly, with this advantage of the special spousal trust, they do require that the trust is in place one year prior to the death of the first spouse. So while there are some technicalities with the special spousal trust, I think it could be a huge advantage to a lot of clients so that we can obtain that step up in basis at the death of the first. Now, this doesn't mean you're creating a whole new trust, but it is essentially an overlay to your existing estate plan. The law does require that you do a new trust or an amended and restated trust to adopt these provisions. And again, you have to be duly warned about the effect of divorce or creditors. But for a lot of couples, again, I think that this is going to be a huge advantage uh, on the income tax side, as well as opening doors to advanced planning strategies after the first spouse passes away. Thompson Law would love to help you take advantage of the new special spousal trust.